Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we are getting ready for Thanksgiving dinner. Well, my family actually has Thanksgiving dinner at like 11 a.m. <laughs> so um, it's kind of like more of a, a lunch and then we eat on the food all day long. So. I thought about dyeing my bangs right before um, Thanksgiving because you know, you all know how they are kind of green right now, but I think honestly with like what happened with my toe and like the vertigo and just all that stuff, um, I just don't really feel like going out to Sally's and buying the stuff and doing that. Um, but this is still going to be a get ready with me. Um, right now I'm going to wash my face, we're going to do our makeup, do our hair, and put on our outfit. So, uh, first things first, uh, this morning, I have my, also some, um, I've seen some people comment, like, asking about, like, you know, my makeup routine or, like, the products that I use, um, and also, like, skincare type stuff, you know, just that kind of jazz. So, I guess this video can kind of help answer those questions hopefully we'll see <laughs> so the first thing i like to do in the mornings is take an ice cube to my face i've been doing this lately and it just feels really good <laughs> i've seen someone i think it's supposed to like shrink your pores and all that kind of stuff but um i don't really know i don't know if i've noticed it helping that much but uh i know it feels good especially like around my eyes oh yeah I think it helps with like puffiness, but to be honest with you all, I've been up for a little bit now, so <laughs> I don't think my eyes are puffy anymore, but I recommend um, trying the ice cube in the morning. I've heard other people like to say be careful that you could like, I don't know, like hurt your skin like frostbite <laughs> or something, but I haven't had any issues with that. I just, I mean, just don't leave it on one spot for too long, I'd say, I don't know. Okay, so now that I've rubbed that all over my face and my face is all wet, I'm gonna take some, um, I use the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. Uh, I don't know if she's like, I mean, she's just something I get at Kroger. <laughs> I'm really not too, whoops, I'm really not too picky about products that I use. I think as long as they work, and they're like affordable, I don't really care. Okay, so now we have washed and rinsed. I don't really dry, cause like my face isn't too wet. I kinda like to let it, uh, the water soak in a little bit. <clears throat> now, it's time to do some makeup. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I'm hoping that was a car backfiring, but you know, whatever. Anyway, okay, so now that our face is washed, don't pay attention to the messy bed. Um, we, I'm actually gonna shave my face. And I just buy these little, I don't see the brand, but I think it's like the chic, the chic little razor, little face razors or whatever. And I just go around and just shave my whole face after I've washed. If you all haven't tried shaving your face, I highly recommend, because it really, really makes your skin look so good, like just so smooth. Okay, I just shaved off some of my hair. <laughs> it just gets rid of like all that peach fuzz, that kind of, um, I don't know, it always kind of shows through a lot more whenever you're putting on foundation and powder. This just really helps with making your face look smooth. I always have to lift up my nose to get like my mustache hairs right there. Okay, so now that's shaved, I'm going to put on some um, moisturizer. This is Estee Lauder Idealist is what I use. That's what it looks like. She smells so good. Oh, whoops. She squirted out a little too far. But I use this moisturizer. I only use this whenever I'm about to put makeup on. Um, if I'm not going to wear makeup or like at nighttime, the moisturizer I use is CeraVe. Uh, I've been liking her a lot. Um, but the only thing I recommend is like having your face wet when you put it on because it's kind of thick and I feel like it kind of like, I don't know, 
is tough to spread around, especially where like your face and like around your eyes is kind of, you know, sensitive. I like to thin it out a little bit. Um, okay, so then after that, I normally use um, this primer. I've been using Master Prime by Maybelline. I got this in green because I have a little bit of rosacea, um, but I don't really think it helps, but she feels nice and smells good. Okay, and now I am going to do um, concealer. I have Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in this like little tube. Um, this is I, this is actually this little lightest color I could find when I went to um, CVS, and this is light medium. I think I could definitely go um, lighter. I don't know what the next shade is because this is kind of just like I don't know my skin color, but I think it's just extra coverage because I just have a little bit of like this blue around my eyes is really the only reason I like to use concealer. Um, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. It never fails that I'm always, I have like my concealer too light or too dark or I don't know. It's never perfect. So then I take my beauty blender and just blend that out around my eye. Okay, so now I use, this is like, so the S, everything I use is kind of like drugstore products. Like I said, if it works, I don't really care. Um, I normally just go with what's affordable and what I think works well um but the only expensive things i have are my estee lauder little moisturizer idealist and also the foundation because i kind of feel like those are like the really important parts <laughs> like because you can get drugstore like eyeshadow eyeliner and stuff that does just as well as like an expensive one but for some reason foundation is kind of like I don't know, a game changer for me if you buy something a little nicer and expensive, um, which this one's like, I think it's like $50, so not as expensive as some that I've seen, but you know, definitely not like drugstore, but um, I get Estee Lauder Double Wear, this is what she looks like, and I get the color Warm Vanilla, if you think that we're like the same, <laughs> the same color, and then I just put it, I try to focus it more on like my cheeks, because like I said, I have some um, rosacea. So I try to focus it to cover that up. And then it never fails that for some reason, I feel like the right side of my face gets like better and more coverage. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's a side that I start with. I try to fix that, but it seems like I can't. I think the Estee Lauder Double Wear is really good um, foundation. Uh, definitely really good coverage. And I also think it smells really good. <laughs> I'm a big fan of smells, if you can't tell. Okay, so now I have all that covered. Um, I'm gonna drag it a little bit down my neck. I think it's a really good color match, but you know, just in case. Okay, now it's time for powder. And I use Revlon Translucent uh, Photo Ready Powder. That's what she looks like. Um, and I've been taking my Beauty Blender and rubbing her around in that and going around like the eye area, like the creasy parts, you know? And I sometimes pat some like around my nose. Uh, I guess just like the whole T-zone area. And then after that, I take my brush to just kind of do like the outer parts a little bit. Now is contour. Okay, so what I have been using is this little contour palette, which I keep showing you all this, but, and it's like really old. I don't know where it came from, but I know my best friend got it for me. Um, this is what she looks like, but, um, I just use this like medium shade here that's almost gone. <laughs> um, and I swirl my little contour brush. This is what she looks like. I don't know where she came from either. <laughs> I just swirl her around, do a little tap tap. Um, and then I go right above like where my cheekbone is, um, I think that just like makes my face like more lifted because I used to do it like right in it and that kind of drug the whole thing down. So I've been doing it right above uh, my cheekbone. I just kind of do a little pats, sometimes little swirlies. Perfect. Okay, other side. I don't know why, but I can never get like the sides even on like the contour. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like they're like, they never look the same. <laughs> My right side always looks so much better, I don't know. Okay, now I take some and I put it on my forehead. I kind of focus like on the top of my forehead and then like down right here on the side. So leaving like the center um, like lighter. 
I mean, for some reason this has turned into a, a tutorial, my get ready for Thanksgiving, but you know, <laughs> whatever. I like watching makeup tutorials and videos all the time. Lately I've been really into a uh, Teen Mom, Teen Mom 2 in particular, um, <laughs> with Janelle and Chelsea and Leah, Caitlin really keeps my interest I think because it's kind of fast-paced and like every episode is like a four different like storylines going and that keeps my attention <laughs> so I've been really liking that show a lot let me know what you all think about it <laughs> if you're watching it too I'm on season four I watched some of it whenever it first came out um, but I hadn't watched it in like 10 years probably um, and it's very, it's very entertaining. <laughs> Cody gets a little like stressed out because he's like, oh my God, but it's, it's a good time. Okay, so now we're gonna do our blush. <laughs> I was about to do my eyebrows, but then I forgot about blush. So I've been using Butter Blush. It's like Physician's Formula or something like that. And I just have this little blush brush. And now I like this one because it's kind of peachy and it also already has like a shimmer so I don't have to do highlighter. Um, so I just swirl her around. I like a lot of blush um, but I kind of focus like right, this is like my the apple and I kind of focus like right in here like the center um, and just kind of drag it around. I don't know. I just, I just put it on. I don't know. <laughs> but I love the way like blush looks. And I try to go higher because, like I said, it has, like, a little bit of a shimmer to it, as you can see. So, like, it kind of just naturally um, puts a highlighter on there for you. I really like this blush. And this blush smells like coconuts. Ugh. I think any of, like, the butter stuff from Physician's Formula smells like coconuts. Ugh, it smells so good. Okay, so other side... So, what are your girls' plans for Thanksgiving? Um, if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, which I'm not really cel- Okay, I just want to say this. I'm not really celebrating Thanksgiving because, like, the whole, like, I mean, what, what should I say? How should I write? I guess the meaning behind Thanksgiving. I'm not celebrating that. I am not celebrating that. The only thing I'm doing is looking for some good food. Um, but the holiday itself, nah, it's trash. Okay, and then I put a little bit of blush uh, on just the tip of my nose. It's kind of like my quick little contour because, like I said, it is, like, already got the shimmer, so you already have, like, the highlight. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I'm not really celebrating Thanksgiving. I'm just eating some yummy food, so um, I hope that you all are eating some yummy food uh, today, having a good, restful day, um, whether you're, you know, celebrating thanksgiving or not but yeah it's always stressful because now with my family i am the one who like hosts and cooks the food um so it's a little stressful but we always get cracker barrel <laughs> we get cracker barrel catering for our thanksgiving dinner um and it's really yummy and much easier but i still have to cook it so so we have to hurry up and get ready. But, okay, so then I did my nose as like, you can see how it has like the highlighter. So it's kind of like just a quick little contour that I do. Um, and then I put just a little bit around my forehead in the areas that I contoured um, just to get a little bit of shimmer. And then I do a little bit on my chin right there. Okay, next is eyebrows. And I just use, um, what is this? L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Um, I like this one because she's very thin. Um, I don't like like the big, I've seen some that are like big crowns, crayons, crayons, however you all pronounce it. <laughs> um, I've seen those and like they just don't need, they really don't do anything for your eyebrows. Um, I think they're like obviously I don't know, you filled them in and did something. They just don't look very natural. So I like this one because it's very thin very tiny and I just do small little like uh hair like brush strokes all throughout the brow okay and then I take the little brush and I just comb through what I did a little bit just to make it look a little even more uh natural like so there we go I don't know if it looks good I will say every time that I'm like doing something I'm like man that looks really good and then I go to edit my video and I'm like what the 
what was that? Like, that does not look good on camera. But anyway, okay, so now we did that. Now it's time for our eyeshadow. So we get our little eyeshadow brush. This is just like a little Estee Lauder one that I've literally had since elementary school, like fifth grade. Because fifth, fourth and fifth grade is when I started wearing makeup. Let me know when you all start wearing makeup because that's an interesting topic. Because I remember I had some friends that like were not allowed to touch makeup. Like they never were allowed to have it, weren't allowed to wear it. <laughs> But my mom um, always let us have makeup. Um, it's just kind of, I think because she liked makeup and it's just kind of like something fun to do. Like, I don't know, makeup is just fun. It's like an art, you know? So my mom always let us wear makeup. I remember when I was like four, my, um, oh, I'm not even telling you what I'm doing. Okay, so this is my eyeshadow palette. It's just like Morphe. My uh, best friend got it for me. <laughs> and um, these are the colors. It's kind of like just warm and orangey. So right below my brow, um, right here, I did this really like light color, the whitest color here. And now in my crease, I'm doing this kind of like tan beige one. Um, and then I think after that, in the outer corner, I'm gonna use this like dark brown right here. Uh, and then I'll probably put some of this lighter beige on like the inside okay anyway what was I talking about oh people not being allowed to wear makeup yeah <laughs> so uh yeah some people were really not allowed like they'd get in trouble if they had like like um like what even uh like a tinted chapstick I remember like they'd get in so much trouble and I was like what the heck that's so weird to me so makeup is just makeup. I also understand that like sometimes like, you know, whenever you're young, you don't know how to do makeup and you think you look really good. And then you like try to leave the house and your parents are like, okay, like no, <laughs> like my mom's done that before. But like, she never like said like, you're not allowed to play with makeup or whatever. Uh, Cause honestly, the more you play around with it, the better you get at it, you know? Practice makes perfect. All right, so I'm taking that dark brown shade and putting it right in this outer corner and then kind of just blending it up the crease and then across the lid a little bit. I think this just adds a little bit of dimension. But yeah, I've been obsessed with Teen Mom lately. Um, I've been watching it every day for the last four days. <laughs> I guess every day I go through a season because I'm on season four right now. And I'll probably be done with it um, by the end of today. Well, Thanksgiving. Well, yeah, uh, no, I'll probably be done with it. Because I, I honestly, I'll be honest, I am not watching the little after, um, after things where they sit with Dr. Drew and, like, talk about stuff. I don't know why. I just find it so boring. <laughs> it's, like, so drawn out, too. Like, I don't know what the heck. Like, I just want to watch the show. Cause they also just kind of talk about stuff that's I already watched happen. So like, well, I don't know what's the point of it. And it's always like an hour and a half long, like a whole movie. And that's why like, I don't like the weirdest thing. I can sit and watch like teen mom for like 12 hours, but get me to watch a movie. Mm -mm. Not going to happen. I can't, I don't know what it is. The only types of movies that I really enjoy are funny ones and scary ones. Other than that, can't get me to watch it. I don't know. And then those are like rare. Like it has to be like a scary and funny movie that I really want to see. Um, but other than that, I'm just not a movie person. I get bored. I get restless. I don't like going to the movie theater. I don't know. I just don't like it. So, okay. Now we did our eyeshadow. And what I'm going to do now is put some lash glue on my lashes. Uh, my lashes, again, just came from CVS. They are, um, they're like Kiss brand. And I think they were the Lash Couture ones or something like that. I think they were like, I think it said like faux mink or something weird like that. Well, I won't focus on them, but you get the, you get the idea. Anyway, <laughs> they're just from uh, CVS, a drugstore. So I think you can get them at Walmart and everywhere. Anyway, so I'm going to put some lash adhesive. Again, this is also a uh, Lash Couture brand as well. So I'm going to put the glue on my lashes. And then while we wait for those to dry, I'll do my eyeliner. So the eyeliner I use, where is she? Where is she? There she is. I use Maybelline Master Precise all day. Um, it says it's matte black. Um, 
little liquid liner. This is what she looks like. Um, I've always liked her the best. I've tried other eyeliners like by L'Oreal and stuff. Jesus Christ, can you like stop? There you go. And um, this one I just think is the best. I like the tip of it the best out of any of the other ones. Um, I don't know. I just really like her. So what we're going to do is I always start with the, well, I say always, but if you look at some of my other videos, um, I used to do my eyeliner a little differently, but recently I've been doing it this way and I really like it. So what I'm going to be doing is going right at the bottom lash line, like right where my pupil is. And I'm just going to lightly make a line like following that bottom lash line and then out. Whoops. That sucks. And then just going like straight out from that bottom lash line. To make a beautiful wing. And then I'm just going to slide it on over for the eyeliner on the top. And then I just, I've been doing it like very lightly around this area. Cause I used to do a big thick line like on the top, especially like this inner corner. And I found that it looks much better if you do like a light, like not so heavy right there. I mean, you know, the rest of the eyeliner can be heavy, but like, I feel like that inner corner really makes a difference if it's like caked up makeup versus like a thin line. Okay, so that's kind of it for that side. I'll probably like mess with it and straighten it up a little bit, but. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so now both sides are done. Are they fully even? Probably not, but that's okay. I will say, once you put like your mascara and your lashes on, your mistakes on the eyeliner kind of um, fade away. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna hope for. So now I take the Maybelline Great Lash uh, you know, that like pink and green bottle, but I get the one with the black cap instead of the green one because this is like the blackest black color. Um, so we're just going to put that on our lashes. I don't really focus too much on the top because I always wear a fake lash and so there's not really a reason to like, I don't know, worry about them being lifted and perfect. Um, I just like to coat them in black. Okay, so now we'll pop our lashes on because they're probably dry enough now i just use my fingers because i feel like it's easier to like grip stuff and move stuff with my hands better than like you know the little like lash tweezers and things that people get and i just leave my eye like open while i do it and then kind of go like above and place it and then just move her around with my fingers as i feel she needs to go so there's one eye Ooh. See, the lashes changes everything. Yay! Both lashes are on our eyes. I think they, I think these ones look really good. I like the um, Kiss Lash Couture or whatever. Um, so yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is put on my nose ring. <laughs> For one, my little fake nose ring. I got this off Amazon. If you are thinking about piercing your nostril or like have always wanted one but are too scared of like putting a hole in your face or scared needles, I highly recommend getting these from Amazon as a little three pack. Um, now I need to do the lips. So I take Revlon Color Stay Longwear Lip Liner. Um, this is in the color Sienna. Um, and I, oops, that's the wrong one. That's my old one, I got a new one. Okay. And then I just kind of, um, I don't really overline like my lips like this way, but I do here because I feel like my lip like goes like, well, I'll show you. Like I feel like my lip goes like in, like right here. Do you know what I mean? Like that little, and I don't like that. I don't like that. So I kind of widen it <laughs> this way. That's how I overline. Um, but pretty much other than that, I just stay with my natural lip because that just is what looks best. Okay, so now we've done our lip liner. I then take, um, this is, yeah, this is Revlon Color Stay Ultimate. Um, it's like the little lipstick tube. It's like a lip stain. Um, and I get it in the color Nude. So I put that on. All right, so now this is a new thing that I've been doing. Um, I'm going to let them dry for a little bit. But what I have been doing 
because I ran out of this lip color the other day and I just got it again, but I tried to mimic like this darker nude um, the other day and by doing that I used some eyeshadow on like another just uh, lip stain that I had. Um, so I've been taking this like really dark nudie color right here, right here. <laughs> um, and just putting that on my lips and where the lip stain is kind of sticky, it kind of clings on and um, it, it stays um, even like when I eat and everything. So I just kind of rub my finger in it and just drag it across my lips there. I don't know why, but I've just been liking like this color uh, a lot, <laughs> color combination. So, okay, now the last touch for our um, makeup is I do um, this e.l.f. brand Dewy Coconut Setting Mist, long lasting. This smells really good. Of course, someone's mowing now. <laughs> so now I'm going to do something with my hair. All right, so now I did my hair and put her up. Now my bangs are not cooperating because I have this cowlick right here. So they keep splitting down the middle. So I just let them do their thing. Um, and then everyone seemed to like this outfit whenever I did the um, pick an outfit for Thanksgiving with me. Um, everyone seemed to like this one. So this is what we're wearing today. And I have my hair up. Ooh, so cute. Okay. And as y'all can see, my bangs are really green, but I'm just going to rock her until I feel like going to Sally's. <laughs> so yeah, this is the fit. I'm officially ready for Thanksgiving with my stretchy pants. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's it for today's um, little video. Well, actually, I don't think it was little because actually every time I do my makeup on camera with you all, I always end up talking to you for like an hour, but uh I'll have to cut it down. Anyway, so um, I hope you all are going to have an amazing day, whether you're celebrating Thanksgiving or just eating or just relaxing, whatever. Um, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all next week. I love you all so very much. I'm so proud of who you are as a person and what you do every day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.